Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is Crusader Kings 2. Where we are playing as the Black Khan. Normally known as Khan Kroon the Wolf. Yes, and uh, because I do not believe anymore that we will be playing as Omortach, considering he is incapable, I have been giving titles to my other son over here. Chief Genseppi of Rakshasa. Of Rakshasa of Rushka, sorry, Rakshasa, I'm, I think I've played too much Dungeons and Dragons of late. Okay, so, what you have to know about Gavokind is that you can give away titles to anyone in your family, except for the one that is your heir. So, now I can give him, grand land title, the Duchy of Carvuna, and voila, now he has a double duchy. I also gave him the lands down here, and uh, I will make use of this moment to uh, walk up here. I have to admit, I did one little adjustment. I made sure that he made this his capital. Uh, I did this because uh, because he was tribal, he constantly was giving these counties away. And that is just... Mm, he was giving them away while he could hold more than enough counties. But simply because he was tribal, he said, like, I don't need these counties. And that is just a dumb thing to do. So I, I, I basically told him, you know, stop with the stupid stuff. And take this as a capital. And he's... So, I, I, I did modify that little thing, I have to admit. In order to, uh, therefore, uh, atone for my transgressions, it is time that we take down these orthodox bastards. And then we will take down also these guys. And, uh, of course, we will keep sacrificing to Alec. But no, for realsies, in order to uh, truly atone for my crimes, we are going to... Find ourselves another wife, uh, or another lady to, uh, well, put in a devil child. To make it our family a little bit more difficult, because it kind of, kind of did, just, just made sure that he didn't do stupid, but yeah. It's just, just a little, little bit on the, the, the weird side, perhaps, but I, I'm just an honest man. But yeah, that, that kind of frustrates me when they do st stuff like that. Yo, I'll... Attack for the holdings of Constantinople, you died, don't know who thou art. Over here. Okay. Putting these forces together and it is time to wage some war. Uh, by the by. By the by. I don't want you to really be in combat. Do we have a nice role for you to take? Uh, not really. Hey, why are you in battle? Research economical tech. Um, he has a plot against me. My son. Prince Shilik of Bulgaria tries to assassinate me to make sure I won't discover the Prince Jacempi. Expose him immediately. Holy shoot, you want to kill your brother. Whoa, there are a lot of plots. And of course, I never asked to auto stop. So, let me just go on with that. Because that can actually help me a lot. Uh... Stop packing plot, because if you tell them to, they will like you better once you have they have discovered that you found out that they are part of a plot to kill you. So we're going to do that. In a big country, I just do this on automatic because it's just a nice to hang out of me to micromanage this. Uh, in a small country, however, I find it worthwhile. And we'll see in a moment. So I told them to do this. And now you should see, um, discovered backing a plot, plus 25. It's only for a year, but that 25 bonus is quite significant. So, hence, I am more than okay with it. I'm actually going to let them try and kill this my, my son over here. I'm going to tell you to end your plot. And you are going to end your plot to kill my son. Because we will not have my heir to be killed. I don't know why this Avar man is trying to do something, but sure. Uh, why don't you end your plot? Huh? I don't see any use for it, so you will stop with it. So we beat this army of the Byzantines over here. And we are going to see if we can stop with a few more plots. You are not going to kill Yenseppi. Stop with that. Oh, that's fabricated claim. Sorry, but that's still not really what I want. Hi, Chief no, you do not kill family members. Uh, stop backing the plot. And stop doing this plot. 
Nope, he won't do that. Okay. And you can now end your plot in its entirety, my son. You're incapable as well. What do you want to do? Alrighty then. And of course, now we are attacking with an additional power. Because we have um, Unfeudal War. I really don't know why you would destroy certain artifacts, but yeah. What they have done, which I didn't realize they could, is... I can rename these things. Cancel. That's really cool. And yeah, we, you, we can also now look at the histories of individual items. Was that added before, or is that a new addition that I simply overlooked? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give my uncle the organizer trait, and he uh, gladly accepted my education. Very nice. Uh, you can become diligent, sure. And he did not take that. He became Ralph. Uh, we apparently pissed off this guy. That's not really good. Because he's already pissed off mainly for the fact that we've have his troops out for a long time. And he surrenders. There you go. No longer do you hold sway over this. Let's see if we have a Slavic person in our court. I think it's time that we start turning Slavic people. Here, um... Hang on, but I can't really gift that to you. So... Load filters. One. And now adjust it slightly to my religion group. Uh... Not my religion? My religion... My religion group? We have no Slavic men in our realm. Okay. How is the one uh, going on? Uh, we're still half and half because we have been expanding over here, which is good. So it's still okay to switch, which I, I still want to do. Um, I guess we will stand down the troops over here and go over here. And we are going to go for this county. And I do f also think we're going to go and get ourselves an extra retinue because I think we will be able to afford it now. Yes, we can. So by all means, there are additional forces, and we're gonna go and take Serbia down a peg. Also, I really would like some money in order to oh upgrade a wee little bit because uh, I'm improving the castle town over here and improving the castle town over here, and then I realized oh wait we have this barony and I didn't approve here anything. I. Do I want you to become bitter rivals? You're already the husband of her. I, I... By the by, I'm going to teach you how to go through life, darling. Because I want you to be the best of buddies with me. Because you're a dark child. Uh, he must do it on his own. First and foremost, what we are going to try and do is... Uh, yeah. I don't want to kill my son off unless... Why is Lombardy over here? What the hell are you doing, Lombardy? And the Benevolent Holy War of Salerno. What the what? Yep, there's stripey stripe over here. Great. The Ashina clan, part of Casaria, has lands in Benevento. That's going great. You are being destroyed by the Sunni because, well, you don't have a big uh, realm to help you anymore, considering the Byzantine Empire is not on your side, and you are help. Bing? Attacker, Shaikh followed of Tabriz and is attacking Armenia in the Holy War for Azerbaijan. But this is the county of Azerbaijan. What? Whatever. You are independent for a moment. Gets the tyranny of this duke. Alright, good luck. Have fun. My concubine was. I was away. Let's check it. Char info. It's a bastard. It's not mine. It's not mine. Hey, Cardinal Agliero, a preacher to the in the service of the Pope, Leo III, and look at this, they now have cardinal signs, has arrived in Constantinople to spread the gospel of their foreign religion. He has little regard for our old faith, declaring it sinful, and he has explained in detail the horrors we shall suffer in the afterlife, unless we mend our ways. There are horrors to suffer in this life as well, my friend. Imprison him. Uh, we will hire people to find out, and we are gonna ransom this dude. I could have sacrificed him to Ehrlich, but I've noticed actually that that doesn't add to my kill list, which... 
That cannot be. Uh, so you can have in total 2,000 troops. No, 3,000 troops, sorry. But the conquest of... No. No. Yes. Thanks to all these new counties, there's so much more to conquest. Hi. Let me just call upon the power of... You've switched your capital again. Okay, then I don't have to make a demonic child. But then at least I can show you here. He makes this his capital because he has a duchy of Russia. So he changes his capital and then he gives these counties away. Why would you do that? And again, let's face it. We're, we're not going to hold on to it much longer. But it makes just this, this so much weaker. It could be so much stronger. Ah, and we find out this time, by the way, that it is so. Uh, this is high treason. So we now know that this isn't ours. And we... What will we do? My daughter is betrothed, so apparently we'll accept that. What are we going to do with this concubine? Pregnancy. I hate killing women that are, preg that are pregnant. I just can't do that. But uh, we're going, we are going to imprison her. We have a 90% chance of success. Done it. And we're going to... We can't set her aside while she is pregnant, apparently. Well, we are a dark shaman. Boom. Lukuga looked dazed as she's dragged onto the altar. And yes, I just did it. I did something I never did before in bloody CK2. But I can show you now. Vanish without a trace. I sacrificed her. Not added to my kill list. So yeah, that is something I did notice from this. Uh, mechanic. Ooh, he actually did win his war in the end, my uncle. That took him ages, but he won it. But only uh, survived every other war, but did not survive that particular war. Now, as this character that we were playing, we actually should attack Pannonia immediately again, because we should take way more of Pannonia, supposedly. Uh, historically speaking, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna go that route. Oh, I gained a trait possessed. Didn't I already have that? No, I was a lunatic, probably. No, okay, I'm, I'm now possessed as well. Whatever. Whatever, man. I don't give a hoot. What I do give a hoot about is that we are going to have a bout with your army, and we have a very big number of advantage. Also, how long is my... Ah, my corruption grew again. Brr. But there, should, there, there is needs to be a cost for these incredibly nice powers. Maybe I should write a letter to Queen Zelda. Oh, we'll stop with that. Yeah, we, uh, for a moment, this boy was 15. And we could have almost married her. And I was kind of hoping we could. So that we could get Pannonia on our side indirectly. But to no avail. And this good lady is very dumb and already connected. So I don't feel like that's going to be very successful. Uh, this is not a good idea. What is a good idea is to wage a war. Oh, and I got a fever. I'm not sure it did anything. Excellent. Get a loyal servant. I get a headache. Alright, that's not a good thing. That's not a good sign. I have developed great pox. I, I, I gained a little bit of health thanks to him. Great box is really bad. Dear Khan Krum of Bulgaria, we are having some trouble with one of the petty nobles. Yeah, mm, false accusations. If anyone has any trouble anywhere, it is I with you. You should be happy that we are still on your side. Uh, by, by the by, if you're wondering who that is, that is this man over here. Gurum of Butas. Hi. Kick your ass. I'll break down this camp. That actually took more men than I expected. Now, wait until the new awesome mechanic is in. They have locked in. Mm, hills be damned. And actually, we were arrived sooner. That is down. And we have the Great Pox, as he already explained in the thing. Yeah, this is going to be really difficult. And we've won our war. Voila. Uh, I wonder how if I will survive my son now. Because now we, we'll be kind of bad if we don't. Uh, Epirus. 
You are a new king. I recognize you to be a new king. And we could go for this thing to get an extra duchy title. So we're going to go over there. Um, yeah. Come on, Dukum. Let's try something new. I insist. I will be cured of disease, but I am severely injured and disfigured. Not that you can really see that. Call my court physician at once. Now my other son is kind of very, very ill. Not that I am not disfigured. Which is also for the first time ever that I have this, I feel. But that's also... Well, normally I never go into combat, but now I got it in a different way. And of Lonas, we're gonna go for you. If only, if only he didn't give away all his titles over here and then he would be a powerful duke. But no. He doesn't know how to wage war, how to rule his country. Bye-bye. So, Epirus, what are you fighting as well? The Epitonian conquest of Monomenvasia. Where does that lie? Monomenvasia. Oh, you're trying to conquer it. Never you mind. You are on the attack. All right. Well, the funny thing is we can hardly see anything of the disfigurement. You see a little bit of the mask beneath it. But it kind of is, is part of what we have, right? Songs of Anguish. My knights are playing with terrible nightmares. Ah, oh, we need to kill a man. You have to invite him. Let's invite him over. Oh, and I gained a trait of Arbitrary, of course. I killed him and I gained a trait of Poet. I don't actually know why that happened. Sorry, I, I, I should have looked longer at the message. I apologize. And now Prince Jesup of Bulgaria, my son, has declared war. Which I assume my heir to be. You know what, I... I hate to do this, son, but you really need to die now. I mean, I'm getting super corrupted anyways. Oh, never mind. It's already done. I have a new heir. And I'm no longer severely injured. I'm scarred. Scarred and disfigured. Look at the many traits we got. We are arbitrary as well, which is a horrible trait. As many people will know. Well, that's my, kind of my... Hey, nowadays it does give plus one intrigue. That's interesting. That is new. It's a new addition. Lethal Nightmares. My beloved son Shuki claims that something tried to kill him. You Will you stop killing, please? Darling daughter of mine. That I, well, I kind of created, but... Uh, will not be considered mine. Ooh. Elusive Shadow. For her husband. Kind of... Afraid of that, actually. He became brawny. <laughs> oh, we are definitely annoying the heck out of him. We should uh, look into uh, perhaps a little change his army into raiding stance. And raid a little bit over here. Now that we are here. This is our terrain. Unit owner is at peace. Unit is in friendly lands. Okay. Uh, it's not considered friendly lands. That's weird. But... The main true thing is we are not a piece, so we cannot change its stance to rating. Oh! There is the enemy! And he has more troops than I expected, so we're gonna go and unite a wee little bit. Via walking this route. Ha! Huh, will you... Okay. I have a new job for you, cancel... Chancellor, because you're just not very good at doing things, I can tell you. So, so discontent between the Byzantine Empire? Yeah, the Byzantine Empire? Uh, it's not even that super strong at the moment. Uh, Lombardy. Do Lombardy, because the Byzantine Empire is not as strong as it can be. It's 9,000 men, though, don't get me wrong. It's, it's powerful, but Lombardy... Actually, that's less. I expect them to have more. I only have... Oh, actually, I have 8,000, supposedly. So it should be way stronger, but... Uh, you're getting help from someone. Desieging this. I do not agree. 
Seize and assist your ways. Sir. No, no. Get over here. The, this gray army. Is that an attacking army? Of Calabria. I don't assume so, but... Okay, move in. And everything else... Follow suit. Defeat. Yeah, that's temporary, buddy. Oh! Whoa! At age age or quarter, Yeldum Ehrlich died under suspicious circumstances. People did not... The witch did not live until the end. Oh, wait, why did I Uh, no, take us a concubine. Your former teacher, the witch. And, uh, I can not ask to join... Uh, possibly because I'm in war. Then I possibly can't ask her to join our uh, order. Nice. Yeah, this battle is ours. No additional uh, kills to add it to the list, though. And 77% uh, in all favor this war. And he is running away like a scared little, uh, scared little kitten. Ooh, this is a bad attack. But I uh, was already locked in, so I couldn't really do something about it. But we had a straight crossing, and they had the hills, or what is it, mountains even. But there it is, we won. And you were definitely going to say... Recruit, recruit you? Do it! Let's recruit a slave and Bulgarian man. And you were just gonna go and execute? Why? Because I can. And add it to the kill list. And impaled again on the spike. Over peace. Goodbye. And now we're going to do a little funky. Let's start with this man at 44, who is decent combat, which is why I was looking at him, and he's just granted the title of Lonas. Congratulations. You are our first slaving man who's been given territory, and you're Bulgarian, so I think our bloodline... Uh, Blood of Attila, yeah, it gives us a plus five bonus, so... There you go, our first Bulgaric slaving person. And we are expanding our borders of Bulgaria also now southward, as is historically correct. For the defensive pact against us. Yeah, we're starting to get fretting a little bit. 5.2%, it's not that big. Yeah, there's, it's gone already. I like, the defensive packs nowadays are a little bit less... Uh, Superb. Increase council power. I would actually would love to diminish council power, personally. Oh! No, the council is abolished! Awesome! We start with just abolished. We could centralize... Uh, we could revoke on religious grounds. And nobody can say anything because there's no council. That is so awesome. Yeah. Boom. Based on religious grounds. When we turn to Slavic, we can <laughs> push out every Tengri person. If, or make them... That is interesting. That is done. Um, what we also really would like to do... No counter or higher tier or vassal this may have, a, may have a negative opinion of you. That's really cool, but I really need... Regulated inheritance. We have, by no stretch of the imagination, enough cultural points to do so. We really need to get up some cultural tech points. We're gaining much more military tech points right now. Because my marshal is way higher. Is there no university to be had? Uh, actually, the first thing we need to build. Castle Town. Now we need to look into a hospital. Yep, we can. Can we build a trade post? This county is coastal. All the following must be true. Is a merchant republic? No. All the following must be true. Province is located on a major trade route. Is county owner. Is this not a major trade route? Don't tell me. Constantinople is not a major trade route? No, it's not. 
Okay then, that'd be weird. I thought I went all the way to Constantinople. It ends in Trebizond for real? I thought back then when we played as Trebizond that we also had one in Constantinople. We probably then captured that from a, a Merchant Republic or something. Alright, well, so be it. So Venice, where do you have stuff? Over here, alright. And Geno Genoa is actually larger right now. But we're building our first hospital. It's time to uh, work on those things. And actually, I want the crown focus to shift to Constantinople as well. That would be good. None of our counties are prospering at this moment. Alright, two count. Uh, the High Chiefdom of Ortrid can be usurped. From the king. Yeah, I would give that to my son if he didn't give titles away. Oh, so oh, whoa, new insights. Okay, good. But you were at war. That's kind of what, what, what's, what's, what's making me here. He's kind. That's good. You have a kill list. One died in the dungeons. That's not really a good kill list. But okay. Um, I guess. Uh, you want to kill my grandson? Krum? Oh, great. Who are you? Why would you? Oh, you're a lunatic. Never you mind. And plot. Yes. And then my newest concubine over here. I can only attempt to abduct, not not ask to join the order. Why can I not ask to join? Uh, I mean, I can understand her, but still, Nubile concubine. Yeah. I could do dark healing to get rid of stress, most likely. Uh, but I don't think I want to get even more more magical corruption because we kind kind of got a lot of bad trade right now. Um. I could revoke Kaliopolis. Yeah, people... Oh, he will, will not do it. He's rebellious. He doesn't want to do it. Could I, um... Make a plot for that? Revoke Kaliopolis. People willing to join that? Eh, a few, but not many. Yeah, okay, 83%. Could I... Why are you against this? Political concerns for High Chief Gostu? Okay. You're just really... Nobody is even remotely close to being interested. But I have... 80% or higher, and then I can already do it. Sure, first do this. Uh, do this, and I can kill you. Sure, sacrifice him. Offer him to the ancestors as we revoke Kaliopolis. Then war it is. He is against us very quickly. Do this war before the episode ends, hopefully. Because this is going to be a bit of a battle. And we don't have a chance right at the moment. Uh, let's just do you. Makes you happier and... No, don't do anything. Because you're just going to bring us into trouble. Whoa, 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 whoa. How is that possible? How are they already here? Uh, well, he's losing, so... 300 gold! Thank you, uncle! Um, well, go for Kaliopolis then, I guess. And then go for the capital. Uh, raiders under... Einar of Einar's host have arrived to loot and pillage Kankrum, county of Fra. Over here? Well, that didn't work, because it didn't happen. 
we uh, probably lost the commander title. Yep, because the guy just went into rebellion mode. No, that is Einar's host. They are over here. That's what's happening. Okay. I thought I battled the rebellion, but I did not. Whoops. Okay, so that makes it a little more, more clear what happened over here. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. You go there. You go there. Stand over there. We need to get to the army. Uh... Khan Krum loses arbitrary. A job well done, and I will give him 200 gold. And is granted the county of Constantia. No, absolutely not. I can owe him a favor. And I can lose a trait of charitable and getting greedy. I think I'm actually going to go for that. Because my diplomacy is already... Yeah, screw it. I have zero diplomacy. Congratulations me. <laughs> zero diplomacy character. Well, that is... Uh, King Wordy of Hating. Okay. Um. High Chief Gostum of Antinopolis will suffer a penalty. Sure. Everybody ready? What do we have? What is this? Forest. Forest. Flat terrain expert. It is not forest. You are defensive. I'm gonna... You are already in the middle of the army. I'm going to change that. I'm going to go over there. You're going to lead the flank. Do we have a flanker for realsies? Nope. Uh, then we're going to go with a defender, I take it. Yeah. Nope, that's my son. Absolutely not. Resign. You're not going to be here. We'll take this. He is hiring mercenaries. This rebellion is... Mother loving person is hiring mercenaries. A hundred military tech points. Thank you, combat. The county of Raz is converted to Tengri, which is. I don't want things to convert to Tengri, actually, folks. Uh, I'm going to follow him a wee little bit. Where are you gonna go? To Trinopolis? Then over here? Okay, because he. His army is quite significant, and now I have him on the low side of the moral. And so I really would like to get the battles going now. And now we're going to go to the Caliopolis. Which I think is where he might stop. No, he's stopping in... Died in battle? Oh, come on, not this. Great, now we have to fight our own kin for this duchy. Do I have a claim to it, at least? Yeah, I have a claim to Musia. We will immediately fight for that as well. That's going to be the next episode, but we will fight for that. Because now, Bulgar has lots of terrain within me. And there's the rise of the Shi'ar. Manichian Fate Triumph. Don't care about that too much. Boom. Boom. And... Songs of Anguish. Uh, no. Not right now. I'm a little busy. Waging war. This man has lost. We have retracted the county. We're gonna stand down the army. Not right now, but in the next episode. And we're immediately going to attack Bulgar over here. Because Bulgar has inherited terrain. That is definitely ours. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.